driving, as you just saw, the Obamacare problems do not stop. So are these nonstop problems driving even Democrats to their breaking point with the Obama administration? Democratic Representative John Barrow joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks, Greta. Good to be with you. And as a side, in the very beginning, you voted against um, the health care bill, but you were strongly in favor of reforming. You just weren't crazy about the solution. Well, I, I voted against the bill for a whole bunch of reasons. The mandatory upgrade that's resulting in the cancellation of millions of policies, contrary to the president's promise that if you like what you got, you get to keep it. Did you know that at the time you voted for it? Yes. In fact, we had a vote on that in committee on that very issue. And I was one of the folks who voted with the other side to put that promise in the bill. And yet it was voted down by the majority at the time. Uh, there are a thousand and one reasons why I voted against it. But the rollout of the website this, this last month is just a thousand and two, just yet another reason. So what happens now? I mean, what's going on within the Democratic Party? I mean, is the, are they not happy with the White House? Are they blaming the Obama administration? Or Well, yes, but you got to recognize there are a lot of people who are digging in. They're very defensive about what they did. They don't want to admit anything they did was wrong. They don't want to admit the other side was right about anything. That really is, at bottom, how we got into this place in the first place. The, the blind partisanship is what got us a very bad bill to begin with. Blind partisanship has prevented us from using the last three years to focus on what was coming and try and prevent the harm that's coming. And it's going to take some folks changing their minds on both sides of the aisle to get us where we need to go. Do you think, do you have an expectation this can be fixed? Or is this just, we're going to keep going, it's going to keep getting worse, 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 and worse? I apprehend, worst case scenario, that it can go a very long time before we fix it because the millions of people who are affected by this adversity, the losers under this under this uh, this plan, are so far and scattered across the landscape that it might be hard for folks to realize just how enormous the pain is. But just as the folks who are it, it intended to help were millions of people, so are the folks who are being harmed by it. Well, we're hearing there was, in fact, there was a Monday night, the uh, House the House Chiefs of Staff were seething with anger over intense damage being done to the Democratic Party um, and uh, as a result of the rollout, that that was going out among Democratic uh, staffs. Uh, uh, do you know anything about that? I've heard about it. They have a right to be upset about the website as sort of a new problem, but they also ought to be concerned about what was in the bill to begin with. This thing was going to impose all kinds of costly burdens on folks. The folks who drafted this bill were treating all of these things as if there were benefits, gifts being given to folks, but they're very expensive mandates that employers are going to have to meet, that individuals are going to have to meet. I believe we need to fix this thing. We'll eventually have to do it, but I hope we can focus on this early so we can do it before a lot of people are hurt by this. Uh, have you spoken to the president, expressed your concerns, he talked to you, or, and also to uh, the leadership in the House? Well, Pelosi. Th there are people who have the president's ear. I, sh I share my concerns with anybody who will listen, including the folks back home. But the leadership here seems to be kind of dug in. They're, 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 they're buying into the idea that there was, there was nothing wrong with this to begin with, and they're very defensive about and it. That has to change. Do you think they actually believe that, or this is panic? Political no, I think, panic. Actually, I think that there, there are some folks in leadership who believe it. There are a lot of folks who are trying to deny it because they are spooked about the results. But I'm not concerned about who's right and who's wrong or who's well, to blame for this. That, we need to focus on fixing this thing. But that matters because if, if you if you actually believe we're on the right Absolutely. path, then we should go full speed ahead. But if you're just digging in because you think that you don't want to get caught making a mistake, then you're creating more harm. So it actually does matter. Exactly. And it also matters when folks on the other side are making it difficult for folks to save face or to focus on the problems. It's going to take people changing their minds about this. Folks who voted for it are going to have to realize that all that glitters ain't gold and it's got problems with it. And folks who voted against it are going to have to be willing to try and fix the thing. How about leadership? Is it going to take leadership? Well, leadership comes and leadership goes. But, and leadership... Uh, uh, How much do we have leadership on, now on this? Uh, I don't think we do. I think we have folks who are more interested in defending what they've done than they are in trying to focus on the problems at hand. That needs to change. That's why I think we need to repeal the individual mandate, repeal the employer mandate. If you can't do those, at least delay them so folks can live with this and learn from it so we can try and mend this thing and get out from under it. Congressman, nice to see you, sir. 